What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another week of the J Mo Show. I appreciate you all for stopping by. I appreciate you all for checking in with me this week. Um, we all had our ups and downs throughout the week, so it's good to come through. I appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Um, a little bit about me this week. Um, one thing I did is I went to go see Tony Roberts at the Comedy Club. Um, for those that follow me on Instagram, you saw the picture I posted with Tony Roberts. He's one of the funniest comedians out there doing it. Been doing it for a while. Legend. And uh, he didn't disappoint. Um, for all those members of the Patreon family, I'm going to be posting the video by tomorrow of the Comedy Club concert. Um, so it's the audio of the stand up. So you all will get to check it out. Um, and that's, you know, something special for you guys. But, um, yeah, it'll be interesting, uh, to see. I'm going to get back into it even more now and, and see what I can do. Um, Tony Roberts, he was really good, good inspiration, very funny, um, show was good um he had a couple different people doing opening opening night for him and so that may be something i might start doing we'll see um wait for a couple more people to jump in before really get started wonder woman what's up how you doing how you doing wonder woman um yeah so anyway what's some of the things going on where you all calling from checking in from uh this this uh weekend let's see what's going on and uh this power power book 2 sequel look like it might be pretty good i don't know we'll see we'll have to see what tasha going through thatcha orange is the new black thatcha gonna be having to make a shank out of her toothbrush, <laughs> out of out of her uh, reading glasses, we'll see. It's gonna be interesting to see how that all turn out. And Tariq, now he really gonna need to see what it's like to make money and have to serve because he broke. Now you see why people that sold drugs sold drugs because they needed to eat. <laughs> Nah, he a damn fool. He done ruined everything. Killed his daddy. Mama in jail. He almost had her thrown in jail when he used the gun to kill Ray Ray. Now he made sure that she in jail when he ended up killing ghosts. So he got nobody. Big Mama ain't about to be helping too much. You know, $50 here or there. <laughs> Boy, you better get you a job. Wonder Woman, are you doing great? That's what's up, man. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. Yeah. So we'll see um, about how Tariq going to deal with that. Jacob Jennings, Jay Moore, what's good? Texas been, Texas been gone for a minute. Salute, brother. What's up, Jacob? That's what's up. I appreciate you for stopping by. Checking back with me. Texas, that's what's up, man. Longhorn State. I'm glad you ain't forget about a brother came back. See what's good. Still hanging in there. Although it looked like this might be a slow weekend. I might do a 30-minute show today. We'll see. Um, Sometimes it start off slow and then everybody come in. I guess some people may forget. It's 8 p.m. Now that power is off. There's no need to come on at 9 if power is not on. But we'll check it out and see more people come in in a little bit. But yeah. Um, it's this one show I've been watching that's pretty good. And uh, it's based off of Stephen King 
um, novel, so you know it's interesting and weird. It's called The Outsiders on HBO, and uh, that's a pretty good show. Outsiders is really interesting and weird. Talking about somebody killed uh, a boy, but the person that they said did it, he was somewhere else at the time. And they got proof and footage and video of him being there. But they got proof and video footage of him being with the boy or whatever. And with the blood and this happened and that happened. I mean, it's crazy. So it started getting weird and interesting. And uh, it's on HBO, The Outsiders. Jacob Jennings, where the hell is Tariq going to get drugs from? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got a point. Most people to get into that, they already had a plug or connect that they knew or they met from when they was in the hood growing up. People that can trust you, knew who you was, and then you go from there, whether you work your way up the chain or not. I'm sure Ghost and Tommy probably had those same connects, different connects, grow, move, meet new people, whatever, since they was, you know, first started. They had one way of getting it, move up. You got to get to the big connect. Once you had the main connect, now you might meet another connect, getting this, getting that, buying more weight, meet this, meet that. Tariq starting off at the dime bag stage. He got to buy a dub and chop that dub up into five nickel bags to make five extra dollars. Then he take that extra five, reinvest it, flip it. Now he working with $35. <laughs> And that's when the big bucks start rolling in. <laughs> Lauren Craig, Tariq's been kidnapped, drugged, and Tariq still wants to be ghost. <laughs> yeah, that just shows he don't get it, basically. <laughs> you pretty much got that one. He, he just don't get it, huh? Let's see. Jacob, Tommy needs to pop Tariq, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Tariq then got away with murder, literally. Ben Richardson, what up? Jay, checking in with you before the start of the work week. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm hanging in there. I appreciate you. Thanks, Ben. Ben Richardson, checking in. Got to get ready to recharge them batteries for a long work week. <laughs> Whitney, what's up? Hey, Whit, how you doing? Appreciate you. Thanks for stopping by, as always. What's good with you? How was your how was your week? Yeah. For those that are fans of boxing, what do y'all think about Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury? What a disappointment. I almost bought that fight and I almost started to try to stream every time I buy a fight and try to stream or talk about it, they end up taking the video down. So or flagging it, and I've gotten so many videos flagged and stuff lately. I, it made me it's discouraging me from making videos to be real with y'all. But I started to do that, but I didn't. And man, I'm glad they say this dude just got whooped back and forth after he talked about dude the cokehead and everything. So he didn't got beat by Pookie. He didn't let the Pookie beat him and and take the church's money. What the hell? How you let this dude beat you? That's just pathetic. I mean, and he beat him in the seventh round. At TKO, they threw in the towel. He just quit because pretty, pretty soon he was going to be on his face, embarrassed. I don't know. I'm just, man, that's crazy. <laughs> Lauren Craig, I'm ready for Tommy Spinoff. I know that's right. We'll see. That's going to be an action pack right there. Hey, you ready for the action pack? Hey. Them take out Tommy Egan spin off over here. It's going to be great. It's going to be action packed. I'm telling you, I'm going to make a new connect and it's going to be fire. <laughs> Jacob Jennings for life is a good show. 50 Cent got not as graphic as power, but it's okay. Yeah, for life. Yeah, I got that on my still. I had a chance to check that out, but uh. I saw that, yeah, 50 Cent is producing that. It's on, like, what, ABC or something like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I gotta check that out, yeah. That's why it's not as graphic as Power, because it's on regular TV, but it's gonna reach more people. Talking and grubbing, what's up, brother, how you doing? 
How's it how's it going for you, man? Uh, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, man. As far as the spinoffs is coming up, Tommy spinoff is gonna be fire. And uh what? Raising Canaan? <laughs> That's gonna be crazy. What is <laughs> 50 Cent, oh man, he crazy, man, he, that's gonna be, I know that's gonna be something else, raising Kane in the crazy ass, cause whatever happened to make him who he was, it had to be crazy, Ben Richardson, I seen the fight on YouTube, while they kept walking back, I'm like, get in there and punch him out, damn, Jacob Jennings, I watched it on my tablet, didn't pay, for Fury gets full credit, wow, so they was playing it on YouTube because anytime I ever tried to put something on YouTube, they always take it down or whatever. Lauren Craig, they wanted eighty dollars for that uh, for that pay per view. I'm like, uh, uh. Lauren Craig, wonder who will cancel Christmas on Saks and the spinoffs. Oh, Lauren Craig, you know he got to get cancel Christmas on that ass right there. They cannot let him get away with all the dirt he done did. Them dirty ball sacks are stinking. They so bad, boy. Rot gut. Straight up. He need to die and get away with all of that. Or go to jail. Talking and grubbing. I know a lot of people think that Tate's spinoff isn't going to be good, but a lot of people sleep on the fact that politics is more gangster than the streets. Plus, the Lorenz Tate can carry a show. Yeah, Lorenz Tate could definitely carry a show. And politics is crazy and gangster. Plus, we already saw that he knew one set of hitman and, and croup. Who knows who else may know some hitman or how many more hitmen he know or whatever. So, it may get violent too. So, that would be good. Plus, you know, he's been getting a little of that booty too, boy. The duty to please that booty. Jacob Jennings. I wonder if the Serbians are gonna go after Tommy behind. Hey, they need to follow him. You killing my boss, Tommy. I going to take you down. <laughs> Talking to Grubbin. Wilder was tired the whole fight. Fury wore him out. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Wilder doesn't have good stamina. Because he barely beat Fury the first time, but you could see his stamina was a problem and he just kept having to like lean up on Fury or whatever this time Fury bulked up was a little heavier and he wore wild out Wilder is just plays he fights too skinny at heavyweight like 215 220 at most and he just too skinny Sheldon Arthur, Jay, just showing, bro. What's up, Sheldon Arthur? I appreciate you. Fudgy Babe, hey, Fudgy Babe, how you doing? Appreciate you for stopping by. Thanks for everything. Jacob, I'm paying for this jailbreak fire stick. That's how I watch the fight. Oh, uh, yeah, see, I got to reset my fire stick because now it, I, can't, it, I can't get nothing on it. It's not working right. BJ the Great, which spinoff are you ready to see? Um, right now, I mean, Power Book 2, I'm interested to see what's going on with Tasha and Tariq a little bit, just to see if they get killed. <laughs> but if they're going to make a show based around them, they probably ain't going to kill them. So, Tommy, Raising Kanan, those will probably be the two best ones. Um, even uh, Councilman Tate will be good so we'll see um, Brother Love what's going on Brother Love appreciate you the upset of Fury was heavy but still had lots of movement yeah man Fury moves good and Fury is a good boxer that's the problem. Wilder has just started boxing not that long ago. Fury been boxing his whole life. And he come from that boxing culture. And so stamina, that's one thing he got. 
and stamina, and he got boxing skills, whereas Wilder had one hell of a punch. That right hand was a no joke, but he didn't have really a lot of boxing skills. <laughs> Jiggy Thanos, what's up? Let's leave craptastic power alone. <laughs> Wilder's not a real boxer. He's a lucky street fighter with gloves. All Fury did was just be a boxer and not a fighter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Wilder's like a, a better Kimbo Slice <laughs> in a way. Because, yeah, he just started boxing in college because he couldn't play ball like he wanted to uh, at football or whatever. And so he started boxing. And, you know, like you say, he's a street fighter he type of dude that would probably beat anybody in the neighborhood. But once he went on the world stage... He had that right hand that was devastating and he tall, but now he's fighting the best of the best. And Fury is a boxer, like you said, man. And yeah, because Wilder was going to lose the first fight, really. If he didn't knock Fury down at the end of the fight, um, Fury would have beat him in the first one, really, to me. Yeah. <laughs> Sheldon Arthur, show him love, my bad. You think Tasha getting out that jam? I hope not. I think that the first call Tasha going to make, though, is to Simon Stern, begging him for some type of help, support, pull some strings, and knowing him, he going to try to pull some strings to make it happen. She going to be like, they accusing me of this. You know I couldn't do that. And he going to fall for it and help her ass. Ben Richardson, I'm watching all the shows. Force is the one I can't wait to see. I know that's right. Yeah, I'm going to do reviews on all of them. So, look like I'll be around for a while after all. Huh? <laughs> Shelton Arthur, lost money on Wilder. Should have bet on the big retarded <laughs> MF for licking blood and this shit. <laughs> uh, Tyson Fury, I come from the gypsy culture. I'm the gypsy king. The Gypsy King? <laughs> Man, he made 20 million off of that. Brother Love, do you still do stand-up comedy? Yeah, I still do stand-up comedy, man. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, posting some on YouTube. Right now, they all on uh, Patreon. All my stand-up comedy is on Patreon. I got a couple clips on Instagram. Um, and... Yeah, I'm still doing the stand-up. I was at the stand-up comedy club just this Friday. I was there with Tony Roberts, and uh, he was he did a great set. And uh, I talked with him and stuff. He was real cool. Was, you know, yeah, I'm still doing it, brother love. Appreciate you. Vibe 9, what's good? What's good? That's still my boy because he took a stand. <laughs> I know that's right. Michael Cepeda, are you going to start reviewing for life? It's pretty good. Yeah, um, I was thinking about it. Um, yeah, that's that new 50 Cent show. And uh, I, I might do that. Um, let me check into that a little more and see if I can catch up on the episodes. I think they only on like the first or second episode. So, yeah, I think I will do For Life. John Norman, what's going on, man? Why you retract the message? What's up, Ja? What's good, brother? The upsetters. Cooper Sacks will get Tasha out because Tariq has leverage. Uh, yeah, that's true. That is true. Which is crazy how they ended up arresting her, even though Sacks. Yeah, this is going to be crazy to see what they do with that. Because Blanca and them just went straight to arrest her off of what old boy said. The upsetters. Cooper Sacks will get... Yeah, I read that already. Jiggy Thanos. Exactly, you right. A few more rounds and Fury wins the first fight. Fury said he wanted to taste blood and he tasted blood. Fury gets high ratings for tasting a black man's blood. You know what? It's sweet. No wonder your black boys got diabetes. <laughs> Jacob Jennings, bro, you gotta do two bits impersonation. <laughs> two bit. Oh man, I can't even remember what I did for two bit. 
I had to think about it how I did two bit, man. Two bit. I don't remember two bit impersonation offhand. Jai Norman, will you get a chance, J man? Please do some Empire mid season predictions. Yeah, that's true. Empire is about to crank back up, huh? Yeah. Um it's gonna be crazy. They got White Tracy looking like she gonna pop Lucius. Look here, Mike. You ain't about to take me out, White Tracy. Oh, you got some balls now? Well, look here, Tracy. You ain't about to take out the king. I'm Lucius Lion. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Corey Washington, which gun did the cops get Dre or Q's? If it was Q's gun, then that's not the murder weapon. She should either get some reduced time, but she shouldn't get set free because she set an innocent man up. I know that's right. Hey, JJ! It looked like it was, uh... I think it was Q's gun. If I ain't mistaken. You crack that window, open that window some more. Would you hand me a water? Thank you. Fudgy Babe. No, I didn't get to see Shula King. I wanted to, but I didn't get a chance to. Jiggy Thanos, Gypsy King impersonation. Huh? Yeah. Gypsy King impersonation is jokes, but how about going from coked out suicidal thoughts to world heavyweight champion? I know, right? Yeah, yeah, he he made a hell of a hell of a turnaround to being the champ again. He never lost it, really. Shelton Arthur J, you checking out that Walking Dead tonight? You know I'm gonna check it out. Got to see what's going on. I should do some more reviews of Walking Dead, but I was putting in all that work and it didn't seem like nobody was watching it, so. I, I kind of gave up on it. Von Joyner, The Outsiders, hidden, man. I'm telling y'all, check out The Outsider. The Outsider is an underrated show that's really worth checking out. Once you watch it, you're going to be all into it. Like, dang, what happened? What's this? What's that? And then when uh, Holly get into it, you'll be like, this girl crazy. <laughs> Straight up, she weird, but really smart. Vipe 9, Tasha found Method Man. I think that's her new boo. M E T H O D, man. Look here, Tosh. I don't want none of that. You didn't give that booty up to everybody, man. <laughs> Jacob Jennings, man ain't a man. Look here, mine. You mine ain't no mine. You ain't a real mine, mine. Hey, you want to see a real mine? You look at me, mine. Okay? Because I'm a real mine, mine. <laughs> Lucius. Lucius. <laughs> Jiggy, I hear the Wu Tang show is dope, too. Yeah, the Wu-Tang show was pretty good. Uh, the first season is over with. Um, we'll see if what the second season brings. I believe they got a second season. Um, so, I didn't see all of the first season. But, from what I've seen and heard, everybody really liked it a lot. And enjoyed it. It's coming down with the Wu. <laughs> Let's see, Lauren Craig, Q, Q's Tasha's new boo. Yeah, right. Setting up an innocent man who has a baby to think about. Man, I ain't heard nothing from Team Tasha, boy. For real, it's been quiet as a church mouse. She was setting up an innocent man. He was there with his damn daughter. He's a single dad. And you set him up for a murder he didn't commit. He would never see his daughter again, all that. And you didn't have no problems with it. None. When the real problem is, 
that dude wanted to handle Ghost for you, and you wouldn't let him. And then Ghost gets killed, and you blame him for it. What type of crap is that? You'd have been better off letting him do it and try to get away with it than setting him up for it, and he ain't do nothing wrong. That's dirty. Support gaming, what's going on? Yo, did you hear about Omari Harwick won an award? No, I didn't hear nothing about that. Uh, it wasn't the Academy Award. <laughs> but uh, no, I didn't hear that. But I'm not surprised. I mean, if it wasn't for him, power probably would have never got to where it was. Um, 50 Cent didn't even have that big a role in the first season. And he didn't even come into like the third episode at that. But, yeah, Omari Hardwick, he really held that show down. He really he really did a great job on that, man. And, uh, you know, I hope it all work out for him in the end and he get bigger and better roles. You know, maybe he might be in the next Black Panther, Black Panther Part 2. You got ghosts in there. <laughs> Wakanda forever. Tommy. <laughs> Pharaoh De Niro. I like that name. What up, Jay? You seen the trailer for Cutthroat City? No, I ain't seen that. What's that about? Cutthroat City. Uh, you know what? I think I may have heard that or seen that. It's kind of ringing the bell, but not. I can't think of it at this moment. Michael Cepeda, R.I.P. Pop Smoke. Another dead rapper in this, in this uh, day and age. Being a rapper is a dangerous job. Support game in 2020. Tosh is the real villain of power. She just manipulated her son to hate his own father because he was moving on to someone and having a better life. You right. You right. She manipulated and killed everybody. Killed her best friend, manipulated her, manipulated Tommy. She manipulated all kind of people to tell her information. Manipulated Q, manipulated Terry, got him killed, was about to get Q locked up. Manipulated Sean, got Sean killed. I mean, we can go down the whole list. Tasha's the worst the worst character on power, really. And God don't have nothing to do with her being a black woman. She could have been uh, you know, Lila Loren's character. I don't care. <laughs> It had nothing to do with Natari Naughton and all to do with what they wrote for her character. Jacob Jennings, what's The Outsiders about, Jay? The Outsiders is pretty good. It's on HBO. It's a Stephen King novel, and now it's a TV show. And so, you know, it got a little weird creepiness to it with the Stephen King. And uh, so, basically, it start off with this guy has killed uh, this kid and has been witnessed by people and even on video with blood on them and stuff by people. And so they go to arrest him, but when they arrest him, he got alibi and video and proof that he was somewhere else at the exact same time. So now they wondering, how can one person be in two places at the same time? What's going on? And then it start getting real weird and stuff as it start going on. But it's pretty good. You should check it out. Jiggy Thanos, Omari won Best Outstanding Actor in the Drama at the NC, you mean NAACP Awards, yeah, for playing James. For playing Yemi. For playing Yemi, I get you the war. You get the war for playing the Yemi. Jacob Jennings, you gotta do Denzel as Frank Lucas. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yeah, okay, you think you got what you need? Well, I'll have you in Pelican Bay in 24-hour lockdown. King Kong ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> I don't think I sound like him, but hey. <laughs> Pharaoh De Niro, directed by the RZA stars, Shameek Moore, T.I., Terrence Howe, and others. Seems pretty dope. Uh, I'm going to have to check that out, uh, Pharaoh. All right. Yeah, that's got a lot of good big name uh, actors in it. 
Von Joyner, El Cool Cool. Oh, El Coco. Yeah. <laughs> El Cuoco. Yeah, that's what she said is the spirit that's causing the, some of this and outsiders. I ain't gonna spoil it and give too much away, but yeah. <laughs> El Coco. <laughs> Rinchelle Joseph, I heard Omari gonna be in 50 Cent new series, Black Mafia Family. It should be good. Uh, 50 Cent probably promised to pay him a little more, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, the Black Mafia, I think I'm Big Meech. Larry Hoover. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty good. Ben Richardson, Tasha didn't have a loyal bone in her body. Hey, that's 100% facts, man. She didn't keep it real with nobody unless it benefited her. That's the only time she was loyal for Ghost when it could have backfired on her if he did. If she wasn't and all kind of stuff. So, you know, we'll see. Bond joining the Star Trek Picard is good. You know, I used to like the first Star Trek a little bit, but never was a uh, Trekkie. I mean, I ain't never watched enough of it. And they've had a few other Star Trek series that I was looking at and was like, man, that's going to be good. I'd like to check it out. And never did. That Picard is going to probably be another one. I was looking. I'm like, man, that looks pretty good. I should check that out. And so far, I haven't. And, uh, you know, it does look good. You say it is good. I should check it out. <laughs> I never end up doing it, but I need to. I still got to check out The Mandalorian. I'm getting uh, left behind. I need an assistant. If I had an assistant to do some of this other parts on the computer, I'd I'd be all right. Lauren Craig, my heart still hurts for Sean. He should have never went back to Canaan. He should have just left New York and never looked back. Man, that's 100% facts. At least not talking to Kane in the way he was. Talking, you just an old washed up thug. Then you give him a gun. Like, you know what? I don't think you'll kill me. But just to be sure, here's a loaded gun. Pull the trigger. Let me see. <laughs> that was dumb. Uh, Michael Cepeda, Jay. What happened to the club manager that goes had in season one? Uh, you talking about Cantos? He fired Cantos in like season two. Because Cantos was, you know, loyal with Simon Stern for a minute. And then he flipped back and all of this. So Ghost fired him. He was going to have Dre doing it, but then you know how that turned out. So. Ferro De Niro. I wonder how much the budget was to pay all those actors. Uh, Jacob Jennings, you think Tariq will kill Cooper Sacks in book two? I hope so. He need to kill somebody that actually needs to die for a change. Well, he killed Ray Ray. He needed to die, but he messed up in how he did it. Talking and grubbing. Tasha didn't give a crap about Ghost, the man just the dope dealer and she thought protecting Tariq was love but she was enabling him she was trying to be his friend instead of his mother hey that's 100 percent facts right there brother you right you didn't put it out there in a nutshell right there man and uh, that's exactly what happened that's why he ain't learned his lesson von joiner lincoln rhymes the hunt for the bone collector <laughs> Support Gaming. I don't believe the theories that Ghost faked his death on the finale of Power Season 6. But I think if he comes back, he will show up as a ghost in Tariq's head. Yeah, that's true. But uh, they would do that in terms of I don't think Omari Hardwick might come back and, and film new scenes. Maybe they'll show like old scenes or old pictures of footage that they already have of him. I don't think they would show new footage, but I could be wrong. Maybe Omari come back if they, you know, pay the right amount. Jiggy Thanos, The Mandalorian is incredible. Great acting story music season two would be amazing as well. Yeah, I need to finish checking out The Mandalorian too. Uh, I heard a lot about it. Check it out. And uh, yeah, that, that looked like a winner. I need to hurry up and uh, finish that out. 
Lauren Craig, wonder if Tommy will find a new woman in California. Now, I hope so. I mean, he he's still kind of young, got money, uh, he in the dope game. He, he should be all right. Got the musty thing rolling. <laughs> ben Richardson Canto started with something in it for him, and all he got was a pink slip. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, then uh, Simon Stern promised to let him have truth or run truth um, once they got rid of ghosts. So that's why he was in on it, because he get rid of ghosts. He get to run the club all by himself. Pharaoh De Niro. I would like to believe Ghost is alive, but he don't seem like he wants to fake his death, especially since he was running for governor, lieutenant governor. Yeah, exactly. It make the spot too hot for him. Because faking your death is illegal. So if you're trying to run for lieutenant governor and you're doing illegal acts like faking your own death and all of this stuff, you can kiss that job goodbye pretty much. And you're going to need a lawyer. So, and, and then doing disbursements with your will and all this stuff. Um, yeah, I would like for him to be alive still, too. I would like to believe... He faked it um, just as well, but according to the evidence, it don't look that way. It look like it's a wrap. It look at like Yos and Hanji are together and even. They are together and even, and they are happy. Okay. <laughs> so we'll see. Support gaming. Yeah, he say the problem with that theory is that Tate is running for governor now. So, yeah, that's true. That is true. He ain't even running for lieutenant governor. He running for the whole shebang now. So, Ghost couldn't be running for lieutenant governor because Tate is running for the governor now. So, he got the nod from the Democratic uh, nomination. So... Yeah, it's over with for ghosts. Jiggy Thanos, Tommy New Girl, and Callie. Will she live longer than Big Booty Bumpkin Keisha? <laughs> as long as she ain't got no hating friends around her like Keisha did with Tasha. Thatcha, she was hating, boy. Keisha, you gonna snitch? Got Keisha holding all these secrets for her. What secrets was Tasha holding for Keisha? None. But got Keisha lying to the cops doing all this for you for free. For free. For some hand-me-down clothes. Like, come on. Fudgy babe. Well, I guess Ghost is joined with Angie after all. Yeah, that's what I say. Yost and Hanji together forever. <laughs> Lauren Craig, your impression of Angela kills me. <laughs> For Nero, Pharaoh De Niro, even when Heisenberg faked his death, he didn't like the seclusion, and I don't think Ghost would either. Yeah, that's true. People would get lonely after a while. I need to see somebody, talk to somebody, do something, go somewhere. We'll see. Jiggy Thanos, and we will see a funeral in book two, or that's a lost cause. Um, I don't know if they can do a funeral when Tasha in jail. Who gonna plan it? They skipped the funeral actually, cause I they ain't they went to the wheel before they buried him. So they probably did have a funeral already or something. Tasha's so dirty, she probably said just cremate him, sprinkle him in the backyard garden. <laughs> Fudgy babe, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for the super chat donation, Fudgy Babe. You the best. You always come through with all the support. I appreciate it. Every little bit helps, especially since YouTube has been demonetizing my videos. It's making it harder for me to upload videos. So all the support from super chat from you guys really, really goes a long way. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. The Maybach 1984. 
Tate made it out on top for now. <laughs> yeah, really. Until somebody come and try to, you know, take them. Take them down. We'll see if old big booty girl try to get some revenge since she made her ride Uber. Share a Uber. <clears throat> Maybach. Lakeisha was loyal to Tasha to the end and still got a bullet. Yeah, I know, right? Had all that you know, loyalty for Tasha for no reason. Damn shame. R. Burris. Power Book 2 is probably going to be rip off of Snowfall. I don't know. It's already starting off to, yeah, the position that Snowfall is already better than because too much crap then went on with Power already. We'll see. But Snowfall, yeah, that's that's a good show. But now that John Singleton is gone, we'll see how it survives. Lauren Craig, even if Keisha did leave, the cops would catch up with her and she would have been singing like a canary. <laughs> she wasn't about that life. That's true. I agree. She was going to be singing like a jaybird. Me, 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 me. Telling everything what Tommy done did. <laughs> Uh, thank you again, Fudgy Babe. You the best. Jiggy Thanos, they did Ghost like they did Tupac just to get the benefits from the wheel. Yeah, <laughs> like they did Tupac. Yeah, I know, right? In the end, it ain't going to benefit them either. They all ended up losing, all ended up suffering um, when he was gone, and that's what's going to happen in this situation. Look what happened with Death Row. Everybody. And it didn't pay off in the end. And so, yeah, power just like Death Row. <laughs> Tasha in jail just like Suge Knight. <laughs> we'll see. Tariq is free just like Snoop. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we'll see. Talking and grubbing, man. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. All right, man. Thanks. This is for you. I appreciate the super chat, brother. I appreciate that, man. It means a lot, bro. Um, goes a long way. I appreciate your help and support, man. Thanks, man. Talking and grubbing. Yeah, I know you know how it is on the grind of these YouTube channels, so, um, you know. But, yeah, I appreciate your support, man. Thank you. Yeah. Um, if you guys want to call in, let me know. It's getting to the last quarter of the show, fourth quarter of the show. Um, I'll do a couple call-ins and talk to you if you want. If you're interested and want to call in, let me know. I'll provide you with the number. If not, that's fine. I understand. Mellow fellow, what's up, my brother? How you doing? R.I.P. Wilder. He, hey, he ain't Wilder no more. He put him on punishment. <laughs> he made him sit in the corner. You ain't Wilder. Yeah, you well behaved, ain't you? <laughs> Talking and grubbing media. I heard Omari Hardwick had issues with Courtney Kemp over how Ghost was being written. Ah, okay. Well, they was messing him up. They were making him stupid. You know, he was written off really good in the beginning. And now they making him into an idiot. Stupid. He walked. That was stupid ghost. I never understood how you were that high level of a drug dealer. And you don't have a security guard walking with you. Like when Sean was dead. Even though he was whack. He was just a driver. He wasn't a real security guard. But at least it was something. Once he was there no more, like, they should have had somebody else there, some type of goon, to watch his back at all times. This dude is walking around with nobody, no gun, no fear, no care in the world. Even though he got all kind of enemies, he didn't kill Lobos and all these people. Nobody is coming for ret retaliation. But yet and still, he make it. It just didn't make sense to me. He, he should have been walking with at least a gun or a backup bodyguard, something, um, and turning off all the lights and closing the club. He wouldn't be doing that. That's peon work. So I don't know. 
by that time, he was probably like, go ahead and kill me. I'm ready to go. Shit. I'm tired of working with your big two fans. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just playing. Support gaming. At the end of the final episode, Tariq's dorm room name said Tariq James St. Patrick. What do you think is the purpose of showing that? Um, just to show us that he was just like ghosts. And then the end that he's like ghost part two, book two. To, he's James St. Patrick to Tariq's version. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was kind of weak to show us that at the end of all these seasons. Shay Barcellia. Barcellia. Thank you so much for your support and donation on the Super Chat, Shay. I hope I got your name right. Let me know. Barcellia. Barcellia. Nevertheless, Shay, thank you for your support. Um, that's really a nice amount, and uh, I really appreciate it. Every little bit goes a long way. Um, help me to maintain my channel, and it's not that easy, guys. So I appreciate your support. Thank you very much for your super chat. Let's see, Jiggy Thanos. Jay, did you catch the Celtics-Laker game? No, I didn't. I know you talked about the All-Star game last week, but isn't it pathetic? LeBron didn't get the first Kobe award after taking over Kobe legacy. Yeah, that's true. That is true. He should have never said, I'm taking over Kobe legacy anyway, because LeBron's legacy is bigger than Kobe's almost. The only thing is Kobe got two more championships but other than that, LeBron legacy is he's a better player than Kobe. So I don't know why he even said that. Um, he wasn't a better closer and scorer than Kobe at first in his career. But I actually, I take that back. LeBron James has been putting up points his whole career. That's why he passed Kobe, actually, in fewer seasons, no doubt. It took Kobe 20 seasons to get there, LeBron James, it, it took him, what, 17, but still, it's three years shorter. Like, LeBron been putting up 27, 25, 30 points his whole career. So, but yeah, that is crazy, though. Gave it to Kawhi. But Kawhi was a big Kobe fan, so I'm sure he wanted to go out and get that. Shay, hi, Jay. Don't. Don't know how to really send a super chat, but I spent my Starbucks ice latte money on you. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. I hope I was just as refreshing. Ah. I watched your review instead of the bogus finale. Oh, well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I tried to work as hard and as fast as I can to get that review out. It was a little day longer than I wished, but yeah. And uh, Jay, the super chat did go. Shay, the super chat went through. So whatever you did, it worked. So I appreciate it. Talking and grubbing. Is it just me or did Courtney Kemp project her issues with her ex-husband or father and the ghost character? She said the ghost is based on her father. Yeah, I've heard that and thought that myself. Yeah, she did base say that, that he's based off her father and then kind of flipped and put in all this other problems too. So, yeah, maybe he let her father or something left their family or something and that affected her. She liked the Tariq of the bunch. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. But uh, it is interesting dynamic. You know, a lot of people take inspiration from real life. So, um, art imit imitating real life. Um, let's see. Shay Barcelia is my family maiden name. Okay, Barcelia. Okay. I thought it might have been, uh, you know, a little more, you know, different than that. But yeah, Barcelia, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Brown Stone. Peace, Jay, and everyone. Well, peace to you, Brown Stone. Appreciate you for stopping by. Thanks. Appreciate it. And uh, Shay Barcelia, thank you for the super chat donation uh, to the channel. It helped keep my YouTube channel and business operational. And I appreciate you for 
you know, your support and whatever you did, it did go through. I know you said you didn't know how to do a super chat. So that's why I say whatever you did, it worked. I appreciate it. Jiggy Thanos, Kobe came off the bench his rookie year and didn't put up numbers his first few years. Exactly. Exactly. LeBron came in a star starting his rookie year. He averaged 20 points a game, whereas Kobe rookie year was like, what, seven points a game? And then his second year, he made the all-star team, but he was only averaging like 15 points a game. It was just that he was so exciting and with the dunks and all the hype and everything that he ended up getting the all-star nod. And then it was his third year where he started putting up over 20 a game. You're right. Jiggy Dano, see, he said, Shay, are you in Canada? That looks like a Canadian final sale price with tax. <laughs> you in Canada, eh? Oh, okay, oh, eh? <laughs> Lauren Craig, see you, Jay. All right, Lauren Craig, you take care. And I'm getting ready to sign out out here in a couple minutes myself, you guys. So, um... I'm going to try to get to all the last little comments that I can. And then after that, I have to see you guys next week, 8, 8 p.m. Let's see. Shay, you live in suburbia, Illinois. Uh, okay, that's what's up. Chicago. <laughs> Let's see. Talking and grubbing. Another spinoff I want to see is book three. <laughs> Definitely want to see a young Kane and Ghost, Tommy, Angie, Breeze, and even the beginning of Ghost and Tasha's relationship. Yeah, that's true. Do you think that uh, they should run all of those at the same time or what? Run them at different times, like run book two, and once those ten episodes are up, then start book three, or run book two and book three both at the same time book two on Fridays book three on Sundays what you think will work best after each other or same time mellow fellow for life is average Jay yeah I, it's hard to make a really great show on regular TV if it's got to be dealing with that type of subject genre because you can't curse you can't show too much graphic content it can't be too much blood if any um, it's just hard to do that type of show really good when you have those limitations you are trying to make the wire on ABC it just don't work as well but we'll see Karen Jones no I haven't seen it all but I'm getting to it check give it a shot fudgy babe okay Jay bye hon and everyone all right fudgy babe thanks for stopping by thanks for your support with the super chat I really appreciate it all right everybody else in a couple minutes we got about five more minutes and uh, I'm going to be signing out talking and grubbing I always felt that if LeBron never wins another championship his legacy is set oh yeah I mean he put 17 years in already like we know who he is now like it's not changing let's see the ring he won with Cleveland cemented it because that was his masterpiece, just like Thriller was MJ's masterpiece. Yeah, I go with you on that, especially when he beat the 73 win Golden State to get it. That, that helped. R. Burris, will you drop a fate video for Ghost and one for Tommy Ending? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to check into that. Yeah, we'll see. Shay. I'm going to watch your reviews on the new spinoffs, but I'm probably just going to watch Raising Canaan. Yeah, I hear that. Uh, Raising Canaan probably will be the most action-packed, but we'll see. 
You never know, Shay. These reviews might be getting good. Might make you want to turn in and see what's going on. Talking and grubbing. Just Air Book. Just Air Book 3 after Book 2 is there to keep the continuity. Yeah, I agree. I think that's the best way, too. Shay. Jay began in early season 6. How did you think it was going to end for Ghost and Tommy? Man, I just knew Ghost was going to get away with this living. I just knew that. I figured Tommy would die or go to jail. And it ended up flipping. Ghost died and Tommy lived. Jiggy, one thing that people don't know is that LeBron didn't play D1 basketball. Doesn't even have a Division II championship. If he went to college, he would have been a way better player. Peace, Jay. Uh... I mean, I don't know how much better he could have got. And, uh, yeah, he came straight from high school like Kobe. Kobe don't have none of that stuff either. But, I mean, he came in the league averaging 20 points a game. Some people, they never scored 20 points a game. So, and he ain't never went close to that since. He's been 25 or better every year for 16 years. So... And not to mention the 7-7 seven and seven average and assist and rebounds. You know. I'm not a LeBron fan, but I give him his respect. Of course, I'm a Jordan fan. Fudgy Babe, peace. Jiggy Thanos said peace. Fudgy Babe, you too, talking chief. Michael Cepeda, Tasha should have got with Tommy if she wanted a job. Riding, yeah, you're right. Ride or die drug deal. I said that before in one of my videos. That was it. They smoke together, hang together. They needed to be together. That was who she really wanted to be with. And Keisha should have got with Ghost because she just wanted a good man by her side that had money. And that's Ghost. Yep. They should have had did a little, uh, you know, switch a route. Had a little party, get a little tipsy, sprinkle a little Bill Cosby in the drinks. Hey, next thing you know, it's all settled. <laughs> Let's see. Um, all right, you guys. It was a great show. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Fudgy Babe, talking and grubbing. Shay. Barcelia, <laughs> I appreciate you all for your super chat support. Um, it really go a long way in helping me keep my channel moving. Um, so thank you very much for your help, everybody else. Thanks for all the great comments and everything. Um, thanks for stopping by another week of the J Mo Show. And with that being said, I'm about to get up out of here. And I'll catch you next week. Peace. And I'm out. See ya.